welcome to Monday. It's Monday of, I'm so spaced out right now, it's Monday of the first week of the fall semester. It doesn't feel like the first week because classes don't officially start until Thursday and the only classes of mine that start this week are my online classes because they don't have a day and time so technically they would start on the first day whereas my Zoom class is Monday and Wednesday so I won't be talking to them this week that will start a week from today but I will have the discussion boards and emails and stuff to monitor starting on Thursday. I had a three and a half hour faculty meeting this morning on Zoom so I kind of got a taste of what three hours on Zoom feels like gonna be doing that twice a week every week for at least it's just for seven and a half weeks it's not for the full semester but still it's gonna be a lot so yeah I did did that this morning and then it's 3 11 right now so I was doing a lot of class prep and some more online training stuff for canvas and zoom just trying to make sure that I know as much as possible about how how to do all of this. I mean, I, like, I, I feel like I know Canvas pretty well, and I, I feel like I know how to teach an online class, but I do worry a little bit about Zoom. I just worry about the fact that, I mean, there's always unknowns in any semester. You're never able to prepare for every possible thing, so there's always unknowns in a semester, but I just feel like there are so many more unknowns <laughs> this semester. It just feels like the stakes are higher with this. I just want to make sure that my students have the best experience and the smoothest experience possible. So yeah. I'm now just doing my work. I've finished with teaching stuff for today. I've done as much prep and staring at canvas as my brain can tolerate for the day so now I'm working on editing. I'm gonna make some chili tonight. I've already started chopping up the carrots so I'm gonna start that in about an hour-ish. Probably about 4 30. It's like an hour and 15 minutes. I'll start making dinner. I need to get back into a habit of cooking every week and I think I need to do that on Sunday nights because Monday, if this were a teaching day, I'd be I'd be 10 minutes into my class and I wouldn't be finishing until almost six o'clock. So that'd be too late to need to start cooking a big batch of something every Sunday night and then I can have that to eat throughout the week, particularly on Mondays and Wednesdays when I'm teaching. I'll probably work until about four and then read for 30 minutes, start cooking dinner and then read while dinner cooks. Um, I've got an hour and two minutes left in Crazy Rich Asians. So I'm determined to finish that book today. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to writing. And tomorrow I will be at the house, so we will see the puppies, and I will probably check back with you guys on Wednesday. But welcome to the vlog. <laughs> I was just sitting here thinking, do I need to talk to the vlog today? 
And then I'm like, yeah, Andrea, it's Wednesday. You were at the house all day yesterday, and I told you guys on Monday I would probably check in with you guys on Wednesday. So that's what I'm doing. I've just filmed two videos, which makes me very happy. I've done my makeup. I've curled my hair for the first time in ages. I've waved it with my flat iron fairly recently, but I haven't got my curling iron out in a while. I feel like my hair is getting long enough now that the flat iron doesn't wave it properly anymore. So if I want waves and curls, I have to get the curling iron out now. I've been drinking my coffee. It's one o'clock. I'm kind of giving myself not a day off, but a day of not worrying about teaching because class starts tomorrow, online classes. So I figure tomorrow I will be checking email, posting announcements, all of that. So just giving myself a bit of a break today. So I've got a little bit of class prep I'm gonna do, but then I think the majority of the rest of the afternoon I'm gonna spend working on editing and writing and trying to make some progress in there. So I'm gonna try to make a big push on chapter 22 in the novel. I'm kind of going out of order. I just chapter 22 is one that needs a lot of work and I kind of feel like I know what I need to do. So I'm gonna try to get those edits taking care of I'm feeling a little bit warm I think because I've just been sitting here so we're just gonna take that sweater off probably don't need a sweater I just wanted to wear a sweater yesterday was good I got to hang out with the dogs we had a really good time I got a lot of work done I got a lot of training done so I'm happy that I can just kind of check that off today is kind of a quiet day I'm waiting for an Amazon delivery that will finally allow me to sort out this, which I will do probably this weekend, and I will vlog all of that in a separate video, probably. I might start it on Friday, though. I had another Amazon delivery yesterday, so that's for the closet, and then I have another delivery coming next week, so I think next weekend I can finish up the closet and then hopefully get that second part two of the closet video. I've decided to do a little bit of a closet makeover so everything's been rearranged but I want to make it look a little bit cuter. It'll never be the super fancy glamorous dressing room of dreams like we see on YouTube but I can make it look cuter than it currently does so I'm gonna do that. Anyway I'm rambling now so I'm gonna go and get to work and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> dark behind me. <laughs> it's 5.30 on Thursday. It's the first day of the fall semester. My brain is about ready to burst and I really haven't even done that much today. It's been a lot of email, a lot of email, more than I usually deal with on a daily basis. A lot of work on Canvas. I've been reading discussion board posts, um, my four online sections started today, so all of my online students have started posting their discussion board introductions. I had to post announcements in all of the classes to kind of welcome them to the class, introduce them to the class, give them their, the few tasks that they have to do this week, today and tomorrow, which is mainly just read the syllabus and, and submit your introduction post. I was out here at 9, for 9, out here at my desk, so yeah, my eyes, my eyes don't feel good. First couple days are always the easiest. Next week is going to be the big struggle, for sure. Tomorrow I'm getting my hair done, which is good because this root situation is driving me crazy. So these will be going away very soon. 
my little blonde halo as I call it with the little silver threads peeking out yeah so I'm looking forward to getting that done tomorrow I've also got physical therapy tomorrow for the first time in like three weeks so that that will be good and necessary she's been on vacation I'm just tired and frazzled and my brain feels like it's going in a million different directions I also just finished editing tomorrow's video so editing always makes my head go a bit funny um, so that's exporting now I think I'm gonna go get changed <laughs> into my comfy clothes I'm still trying to like like I'm wearing I'm just I'm just wearing jeans and a t-shirt but like I'm still trying to at least put on a tiny bit of makeup and kind of do my hair even though that just ended up whacked up in a top knot that's now slipped off the top of my head to the back of my head it's just my life right now I did my nails I finally caved my nails were doing really well all summer <laughs> and I, I had impressed nails on for a lot like I was wearing them consistently for several months in a row and it really messed up my nails in the summer I kind well before the summer really I made the decision to stop wearing them and to just let my natural nails grow back in and just recover impress is great and it doesn't permanently damage your nails and it doesn't it won't even temporarily damage your nails if you're just wearing them for like two weeks at a time and then not wearing them for a while but when you're wearing them constantly it does start to kind of just mess up your nails and you have to just let that grow out so I did that but I've been so stressed lately and I take that stress out on my nails and so some of them were doing really well and felt really strong and were getting along and then others were breaking off and so yeah I just they were they'd reached a point where if I didn't do something they were just all gonna get broken off within the next week and I was gonna get really bad with them so I trimmed them all down I put on some impress nails and I'm gonna let these grow out I'll wear these for the next week to two weeks and then try to go back to just wearing nail polish and, and that sort of thing but for now I was getting way too stressed and I kept picking at my nails and, and flicking my nails and yeah it was not good so finally caved and put these on but they're really pretty there's a light pink and I don't know if you can see but the index finger and my ring finger on each has like a very faint glitter pattern on it so just thought those were cute so I'm enjoying having them back on I do really love them I just I can't wear them for months at a time like I did before anyway I really am going to shut up now and I will go and I will check in with you guys later <laughs> Welcome to Sunday. It's Sunday early afternoon, like just a little bit past noon, I think. I'm still drinking my coffee from the morning. I'm also reassembling this table. I'm finally getting around to doing this whole messy corner behind me. I start teaching on Zoom tomorrow, so I need to get this office space sorted out. I probably won't get like all the fun styling like 
completely done like I'll probably still like be playing around with stuff but I want to get the majority of it done so that I don't have to worry about what my background looks like I can start making it look cute and pretty and also start getting the rest of this mess around my apartment cleaned up because basically if it doesn't fit on this side or on this side in the desk it doesn't stay in the apartment so I've still got like piles of bags and stuff here in the living room area that need to be sorted through I've put it off for too long I got sidetracked by all the air conditioning mess and stuff so now it's time to finally get the apartment in order I've kind of set a unofficial deadline of Labor Day because even though the first day of fall isn't until the end of September it just feels like Labor Day is the like unofficial end of summer and so that's when I want by then or sooner I want to put all my fall decorations up but I have to like clean things up before I can do that so getting this area sorted out will be a huge help and a huge step in the right direction to be able to finally have my living room back completely in order that's where we're at for today I'm about to FaceTime with Tamsin so I'm looking forward to that and then once this is done and I've got the majority of the background looking clean even if it's not done you know, even if it's not fully styled and organized if it at least looks it'll look better than it does right now so once I get that far I'm gonna stop for the day and then I can kind of tweak it throughout the week but yeah screwing these legs back on is taking me a while because there's five five holes in each leg so there's a bunch of little screws that have to be screwed in so I've got my screwdriver I've got music playing and I'm gonna get back to this once this is done and once I'm done talking to Tamsin and all of that once I'm like done out here for the day I'm just gonna go back and read I have two hours left in the book that I started yesterday. It's taking me a little, it's a longer book, it's taking me a little bit longer, but I'm really enjoying it. So I want to finish that tonight for sure. So yeah, that's motivating me to get through all of this. This is why you don't take long extended breaks from cleaning and home improvement projects, because then it just drives you crazy when you finally come back to it. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to work and I will, um, Possibly checking with you guys later, possibly to show you what I get up to the rest of the day. We will see, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and all of that good stuff. Thumbs up, subscribe, say hi in the comments, let me know how your week was. Oh, I got my hair done. I haven't talked to you, I don't think, since then. It needs to be washed for tomorrow, but um, yeah, I got my hair done. Really happy with it. I had some lighter bits put in on the ends. I kind of showed you in a clip, but yeah, there's some slightly lighter blonde bits. Yeah, so it's just been a nice chill weekend. Friday was busy because I had the hair appointment and then I came home and had to work. I had a lot of work to get caught up on. I had to work late to make up for being out. Then yeah, yesterday was just really chill and today is kind of the same, so but tomorrow it all starts. Tomorrow I'm definitely like back to full-time teaching. I'll have my three-hour Zoom class plus the online class, lots of announcements and discussion board posts that I need to finish up reading and I've already had a student send in their rough draft for their first assignment. I don't know if that's one of, like it can't be one of my A session students because we haven't started but like for my other, my online students, like, their rough drafts aren't due until not this week coming up, but next week. So, I don't know. Someone's really eager. I have a lot of students so far who are really eager. A lot of them have jumped on the extra credit in the syllabus, so my inbox has been filling up with that. And then I've been getting other questions, lots of discussion board posts yeah just they're they're on it but that's that's to be expected with the business writing class they're very motivated yeah it's it's all good so i'm trying to relax as much as possible this weekend because i feel like starting tomorrow it's really gonna be crazy 